I take photographs of famous people to help the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity. This is Portraits for a Purpose. So today I'm in beautiful Eastbourne and 35 years ago I wrote to Sophie Ward and said will you sit for me for a photograph and she wrote back to say I'm a bit busy can you try again another day so here we go all this time later she's in a play down here and I happen to be here too so I've come to the lovely Devonshire Park Theatre and we're going to do a session in the theatre so I'm down there in the shadows can you see me I started off using the stage as a backdrop so I guess that would be the warm-up picture and the one I really wanted was a lone figure in the seats of the main auditorium so I lit two little small lights on either side hidden in the seats I was a bit worried it might look a little bit ghostly so I only did a few of these but when I look back later I actually think they're really nice and I wish I'd done some more now so if you're a photographer let that be a lesson always take loads more than you think you need Then here we are on the stage. This is literally half an hour before the play started. And I'm shooting from an angle you should never shoot from unless you're photographing Sophie Ward, who looks amazing from any angle, in my honest opinion. So here we are having ideas. What else can we do? And then Sophie said, why don't I stand on the table? which I would never have dared even ask because the play was literally about to start and I thought you're not allowed to move any props but anyway slightly precarious up there try not to kill your model is another bit of useful advice I'd say um, so I'm down on the floor again it's an angle I like that one looks like a 60s Vogue shot I think um, here we go along the table I was a little bit nervous that it was going to just look very formal, like she was reading the news or something. So we tried to get along the depth of the table. It's really just a question of experimenting and seeing what happens. I love the stretching into the picture, which I guess is another rule you'd probably be told not to do with people, but. I think it looks gives it, it gives it a, an edge to it the photo and the further down I think it was here we've got this one which is my favorite then I wanted to do Sophie looking round over her shoulder so I could get the diagonal of the table behind her. I had this sort of Victorian idea of holding a big lamp which is like those things that used to explode isn't it and, and but I could move it around and play with the contours of her face I quite like that I think if I, I could do something nice with that and then finished off with a few in the dressing room which is a little bit of a cliche but I think that we've got a couple of nice ones here in the mirror particularly like these incredible looking face so there we go it's worth waiting 35 years thank you Sophie it's free to subscribe to my channel and it helps me to help the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity. So go on, click to conquer cancer. Thank you.